whether you're friends, family, someone who really likes the unboxing game, or you just like to psychoanalyze people based off of their bookshelves, welcome. I couldn't have got this box of books I need to put in, this box, oh, and then this whole bag. Um, I work at a used bookstore, so girl likes to read, I love to buy books, and I like each other. It's currently 4.30 in the afternoon. I've already fallen asleep today trying to watch Willy's Wonderland. Not once, but twice. I still haven't gotten through the movie, but here I am. I thought it's time to unbox. So I got my coffee, my muffin, and I had my little helper, but he left. So let's start. <laughs> okay, some of the books are kind of slanted in the fiction section, if you can see. Um, so maybe I'll try to fill that little spot up first with whatever I have going around. So I'm going to start with this little box. What's in the box? And I'll show you guys what I got. These little books that I'm going to take out first. It's um, all the books in the Savior's Book Cafe Story in Another World. Baby's first manga, if you know what I mean. I'm baby. My friend is letting me borrow these because I've never read manga and it also has book and cafe in this title. So, my type of book. I'm also gonna take these books out. Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, How God Became King, and uh, The Spirit Catches You When You Fall Down. I had to read all of these for school and I'm close to finishing them, but I haven't yet. So I was like, maybe I'll finish them over break. So that's just why I brought them home. All right, we're gonna try filling the fiction section. It's organized by age. So I got The Giving Tree, Children's. Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. Heard this recommended off of Katie's reading. Um, I believe it's, I'm gonna say it's Intermediate Children's. Then Sleepwalker's Guide to Dancing by Mira Jacob. This one is fiction. Less by Andrew Sean Greer, uh, also fiction. And then The Goldfinch by Donna Tart, also fiction. These three I bought used at the bookstore I work at, and then this one I also found at the pins. I know, a good find. So here's the fiction section. So I'm gonna start with the youngest. So, Giving Tree. It's kind of dim right now, so uh. it's kind of hard for me to see. Excuse me. You're excused. Alright, it's going after Sue's. Gaiman's next. I guess maybe intermediate. And children's are just put together, so. Are they? I'm gonna say yes. It's right there. Okay, now we're getting into the real fiction section. We got Greer. Bada bing, bada bam, where is that? Oh, this is also YA. H. Why is tan right there? Oh, that's sci-fi. Okay. I'm remembering how this is structured as a word. And it's already filled up. Okay, we're gonna move on for now. Um, oh gosh, don't worry. Um, this is a camera that I just put in to fill up space momentarily. I'm also going to take this out because I don't want it. I don't know if I have any more inspirational nonfiction right now. So I'm putting the camera back. Placeholder. So I think I'm going to move up here. This is art and then poetry. I think I'm going to have to take this display out and I'll move that one over there. Various maps. A good luck elephant. Rocks I painted on with Sharpie. Or wrote on. Rocks I drew on with Sharpie. Thank you, 2016. Pencil holder my granddad made. Hookah shells on string. Hey guys, you already know who it is. Um, I'm just on here to say I, I'm editing right now. I don't know why I said hookah shells. I just looked it up and apparently they're called cowrie shells. Don't even pretend I didn't even say that. Okay, bye. 50 millimeter lens, big ol' antique Canon lens, Kodak film strip, Kodak antique camera. 
two pairs of old glasses, and then this little thing filled with little bags, drawing of the moon I did when I was a kid, and then a record book from my great, great grandmother? My great or great. Great or double great, if you know what I mean. Now to transport. These are a bunch of art magazines from my college. Time magazines. Oh my word. Time magazine. And a Wes Anderson one, just cause. Oh my gosh, I'm already out of breath. Um, what a good angle. These are a whole series of photography books that my grandpa gets me. Oh. Oh my word. Everything is gonna fall. Okay, I think we're at stable ground for a second. I got two more of these that I gotta put in. This one is color. This one is caring for photographs. The collection, everyone, is up. Okay, we only got a little problem in the transfer. Where's the dude? Um, it's kind of like Where's Waldo, but it's Where's, like, the guy from The Big Lebowski. It will not fit. That's what she said. I don't know why this one's shorter than this when they're the exact same bookshelf, but maybe not. We'll figure it out later. I'm gonna put it to the side for now. Okay, so now this thing's all slanted. These are new ones I got to put in. It's called Whiskey Words and a Shovel. This is poetry. Film for her. This one's also poetry. I really like this one. I got it for Christmas. Those are some tabs of my favorite poems. Slouching Towards Bethlehem by Joan Didion. This is a collection of essays. So maybe I'll put those up there with um, the poetry section. Here's what's going on. Art. Poetry. The poetry will not fit in this little sliver. So I think I'm gonna bring this section up fill it up there because I have essays but I also have I don't know what my reasoning is I'm just gonna try it we'll see okay I'm back and I thought of a pretty good justification I think so some of the poetry I have is non-fiction of course I don't think like Shel Silverstein is but um film for her is so and it's kind of like a little connection it's good enough for me. So I guess that is all the memoirs and biographies I currently have. I thought I had more, but maybe they're like at the other house. Oh. I'll leave it. I got this one to throw in, Steve Jobs. Got this from the bins, I wanna read it, and then I'll, I'll get it. I'll probably sell. It's okay. Okay, making a little revision. I'm gonna put essays between the poetry and the memoirs and biographies, and then maybe a little self-help sprinkled in there as well. Okay, so I think I previously lumped together self-help, intermediate nonfiction, and like my Bibles and stuff. I think I'm gonna do self-help up there as well. Yeah, next up we got On Freedom by Maggie Nelson, also essays. That might be all the essays I have. Oh, but I'll put self-help up, so. Atomic Habits. And then these are from down here. What am, what I, am doing? I doing? What? what? Essay. After poetry. Okay. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, so just a little update. This is my sociology and philosophy section. I have a bunch of extra room, but I kind of want to keep it because I have a lot of sociology books at my college house right now. So I know it's going to get filled up, so I kind of want to keep that space. 
but this is Plato's Republic. It fits like perfectly in the little space in between. So maybe I'll just do a little stack of books. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the vibe. Stack of little books and trinkets. Okay, so I think the route I'm gonna take now, um, this is the current state. I'm gonna start shifting some of my fiction up here. Some fiction has been shifted. It's basically almost all of my children's books right here. Then we got like three children's books left, then YA, then fiction, and then I got a lot more to add. So we'll do that. Okay, so I have some subgenres of fiction. So these I'm putting in mystery. I got Alexander McCall Smith's uh, The Number One Ladies Detective Agency, as well as Gillian Flynn's Sharp Objects in Dark Places. I also got these two romance books, both by Emily Henry. I got Beach Read and Book Lovers. Um, and then I don't have a romance section yet because I don't read a lot of romance. Um, but these, I'm gonna make a substitute for them as well. Okay, got them up. Now we have a lot more fiction to do. So we got, it. bam, Sleepwalker's Guide to Dancing. Um, the Goldfinch, Small World, The Entire Throne, Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. This is the only one that I have in paperback. The rest are hardcover and look like this because I got them from the bins. Um, so they don't have the dust jacket. And then I got On the Rooftop, Writers and Lovers, Pure Color, The Tiger's Wife, and Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is gonna go in YA. I'm not gonna lie, I got this from the bins, so I don't know if it's fiction or mystery, um, The Tiger's Wife, but I'm gonna put it in fiction. Last series is YA. I'm not totally sure. Don't come at me if I'm wrong, but it's gonna take up so much space. So I think I'm gonna have to take out this placeholder. I'm gonna have to take out that book as well to make more space because, oh, it's like gonna be, <sighs> it might be kind of a nice one, but we'll see. I think I gotta shift the fiction down. This series is putting me through it. My phone is driving me nuts because it keeps running out of storage and I'm tired. I just found a rope in my jeans. And I'm tired of just trying to make space. So I'm switching to here. The Throne of Glass series is giving me a run for my money because I can fit all in except two. So I think I'm gonna look through these, find some to take away, get rid of, and then I'll stack them um, horizontally. That'll be good. We're so close. We are so close. And bam, we're done. I cheated with this one. I couldn't fit it anywhere. I think we've done it.